it's something that you can do tomorrow in your classroom. So it's based around using an everyday item and often picking things up that you have, you know, sort of lying around your desk even. Um, and funnily enough, I've picked, um, you know, you can see you can see a plastic spoon. You could pick a straw. You could pick, a, you know, bulldog clips or anything that's sort of lying around, a penny, um, just any anything that's easily accessible, cheap. You're not worried about losing or damaging because the Do Science With Me idea is something you can do within the classroom, but it's also something you can send home. Uh, so you're creating some links. So in terms of tomorrow morning, grab the item and put it on your whiteboard, put it on your visualizer, put it on your science working wall, and you're asking the ch children, do science with me. What can you do with this? So what science could you do with your plastic spoon? What questions come to mind? How, you know, how would you use your plastic spoon? And this could be done with partners. This could be done independently. And if you were going to send this activity home, obviously it could be done um, as a family. Um, so what you're asking the children to do is think about your plas the plastic spoon and you're asking them to think about their current learning. So what are they looking at now? For instance, if you're, to, if you're learning about materials, you might be wondering why there's a plastic spoon. But I also have a wooden spoon at home. I have metal spoons at home. So you're thinking, again, about different materials and why do we have those different spoons? So what makes, what reasons are there behind having the wooden spoon, having a metal one? Obviously, they serve different purposes. What purposes do they serve? So again, you've got lots of questions and it's, it's quite a good start at getting the children thinking, using that vocabulary, sharing those ideas, whether it's with a partner, whether it's in the group. So this sort of could be a good, good starter activity tomorrow morning, getting the children engaged in their science. What vocabulary, what language are they using in the classroom? And again, what are they, what language are they using at home? So if you were going to um, the card home, do science with me and send that home with a child, it bridges that link between classroom and home and getting the children talking about what they've learned at school and also linking their learning. So when I started to think about the plastic spoon, I thought, does it float? Does it sink? Does it make a difference if I put it into the water, that, you know, um, vertically? What about horizontally? Does that make a difference when it's floating? Can I make a lever with it? Can I make a catapult with it? How much can I put in it? How much, what can it carry? What can it carry the most of? So if I filled it with sugar, filled it with flour, salt, what would be the heaviest? So again, lots of questions that I began to come up with. The other one was I started to think about viscosity. And um, what could I get to, what, what could I use to stick to it? And then if I turned it around, it would stay there. So again, that's something I could try. So quite a lot of kitchen science coming from that as well. Um, and again, what you're doing is getting the children to talk about that science at home, in their home environment. And that can be in their own home, in their mother tongue. So you're creating that link between home and school, what's going on. Also between um, thinking about, topics because sometimes you're thinking about materials and you're thinking oh this is relevant to materials only but children might actually realize well we could use this in the garden we could use this for looking at soil investigating digging is that effective so they're learning that everyday objects are valuable and everyday objects can be used for science can be used for investigation can be used for questioning and while you're sending it home you're developing that link between a family so you could have a parent working with the child. You could have a sibling working with the child. You could have a grandparent working with the child. So you're, you're um, creating a sort of a nice learning um, activity at home. You could actually send home a, a do science with me. Oops, that's my alarm. Um, that's my alarm telling me my five minutes are up. Oops. So you could send uh, just a blank one home so the children are having some independence to choose um, what they're going to do science with. And I found this at my house, and this might be challenging for you to think about what, what would you use this for. But I, I know what I use this for because culturally in my kitchen, we use this to make parties with. Um, oh, right. And again, so that, that, that's valuing a, you know, a, diff, a cultural um, object that you, you know, the class may not necessarily know about. So they could actually bring that back in as, you know, they're, what they've done science with. So there's really a lot of um, scope with it in terms of vocabulary, in terms of investigations, questioning. Um, so tomorrow, 
grab your object, stick it on your whiteboard or on your visualizer and get the children thinking about doing science with that object. 